Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. This series of videos will cover all of the features in contact. We'll continue with the amplifier module and signal processors. The amplifier module follows the source module and the group inserts effects chain at the group level of contact signal flow. Its purpose is to adjust the volume of the signal before it enters the instrument level, place it in the stereo panorama, and optionally change the default output channel assignment and the channel routing that occurs between the group and instrument level. The amplifier module is especially important because this is where you can use modulation and volume envelopes, which is crucial to making playable instruments. The amplifier module cannot be removed from a group, and you cannot have more than one amplifier module in a group. Also, all signals generated from the source module will pass through the amplifier module. The amplifier module contains the following controls. Volume. This adjusts the overall level of all signals that come from the group. Pan. This allows you to place a signal in the stereo panorama if the group is being routed to a stereo output channel. Keep in mind that volume and pan affects the playback of all zones in the group. If you want to adjust these parameters on a per zone basis, use a mapping editor or zone envelopes. Phase invert inverse the signal polarity. Left right swap swaps the stereo channels. Channel routing opens the routing matrix, which allows you to change the channel assignment parameters of the connection between the group and instrument level. It also allows you to create special routing configurations for upmixing or downmixing the group signal to a different channel configuration. Each horizontal row represents a channel of the group signal. Each vertical column represents an audio channel of the output selected for the instrument. You create a connection between an input and an output channel by clicking into the field that crosses a row in a column. If there is an existing connection, it will be indicated with a colored rectangle. Left click to remove the connection. You can also convert between different channel configurations by sending an input signal to multiple output channels or mix multiple input signals down to one output channel. To do this, simply create more than one connection in a row to up mix or create more than one connection in a column to down mix. You can also right click the fields of existing channels to cycle through preset levels. The color and levels are displayed at the bottom of the routing matrix. Output lets you choose an alternate output channel or bus routing for the group. When set to default, the group's output is routed to the instrument insert effects chain and then to the output of the instrument. If you select bus, the group's audio will be selected to that bus effects chain, then to the bus's output. You can also send the group's audio directly to a channel output, which will bypass the bus and instrument effects. Signal processors. Contact has an advanced signal flow structure that allows you to create flexible signal routings and processor audio signals with various effects and filters. Let's take a look at how to work with signal processing modules, which are both effects and filters. Contact allows you to place signal processors in at various points of the signal flow. The group insert effects, bus insert effects, and instrument insert effects contain eight slots that can use signal processors. Each row of eight forms a chain of insert modules where the audio signal is processed by each signal processor in the order in which they are placed in the chain. The last module in the chain is what is used as the output signal of the group or instrument. The slots of the instrument send effects uses modules that allow you to tap your signals at various parts of the signal flow and send them to a send effect. Group insert effects. This chain uses modules which processes the output signal of a specific group in the order of their placement in the chain. The group insert effects also has an additional feature that separates it from the instrument insert effects chain. It allows you to create post amp slots. Post amp slots receive the signal after the amplifier module. 
By default, there are two post amp slots. To change the number, double click on a number or use the up and down arrows. When working with group insert effects, keep in mind that group insert modules work in a polyphonic manner. This means their effect will be computed separately for each voice that you play. This can result in different sounds, but allows you to create modulations that work on a per voice basis. The downside to this is that this multiplies each module's CPU resources by the number of voices. If you don't need group specific or polyphonic processing, move modules into the bus or instrument insert effects chain instead, where they will work on a summed signal. Also, most parameters of group insert effects can be modulated internally via the modulation matrix. And many of contact signal processors can, can process multi-channel signals. If a compatible effect follows a multi-channel zone or a surround pattern, it will work on all surround channels. Bus insert effects. In Contact 5, instrument buses were introduced. They allow to use an additional effects chain for several groups, as well as provide another place for flexible routing. Select the bus by clicking on the output level meter or selecting it from the drop down menu. To edit all buses at the same time, click the Edit All Buses button. When enabled, any changes made to one bus will affect all buses. Buses can also be solo by clicking on the Bus Solo button. When enabled, all buses except the currently selected one will be muted. Bus Solo follows your selection, so if you click on another bus, it will be soloed and the other buses will be muted. The bus level also has an amplifier section with volume, pan, and output. This section is exactly like the amplifier module, but with an extra option to route the output through the instrument output, bypassing the instrument insert effects chain. Select program out bypass insert effects to use this output. Instrument insert effects. The instrument insert effects chain works on the sum output signal of all groups and buses that are not routed directly to an output channel. It works exactly like the bus insert effects chain, except it does not have an amplifier module. Volume pan and output is controlled in the instrument header. Like the bus insert effects chain, all processors work in a monophonic manner without being able to distinguish voices. Instrument send effects. Send effects are signal processors that are designed to work on a signal in parallel to the unprocessed signal. The output signal of a send effect is added back to the main mix at a specific level. To use a module as a send effect, add it to a send effect slot and send the source signal to it by adding a send levels module to a group, bus, or instrument insert effects chain. After you add an effect, a return knob labeled return is displayed. It allows you to adjust the return level for this effect. You can also choose an output for the signal by clicking on the eye icon. Signals can be sent from multiple places within the instrument. In those cases, signals are summed before they enter the effect, and the send effect will work in a monophonic manner without being able to distinguish voices. There are two ways of adding signal processing modules to a slot. You can drag it from the Modules tab of the browser into the slot, Keep in mind that some modules can only be added to certain places. For instance, filters cannot be used as send effects. The mouse pointer won't change to, into the green plus icon when you try to drag those modules into the wrong place. You can also click the plus icon in the empty slot and select the module from the drop down menu. To change a module's position in the chain, drag it onto the separator line between the two slots. A vertical line will appear if it can be moved to this position. 
all modules to the right of this position will move one slot further to the right in order to make room. To delete a module from a slot, click on the X icon in the upper right corner of the module. When you add a signal processing module to a slot, the module's control panel will appear below the slot row. The panel can be shown and hidden by clicking on the edit button or double clicking the module. When the control panel is visible, it will show the controls of the currently selected module. Only one module's panel can be displayed at a time. Clicking on another module will switch the control panel. All signal processing modules have the following common controls. Bypass will toggle bypass mode, which causes the module to pass its input signal onto its output without any processing. The bypass button can also be toggled with the B icon in the top left corner of the module. Presets opens the drop down menu that allows you to pick a set of parameter values for the module. You can choose from contacts factory presets or ones that you save. Insert slot rows, send slot rows, as well as other modules have preset menus as well. And the handy little trick is to save an empty effects chain as a preset so that you can recall it to clear an entire effects chain without having to remove individual modules. The modulation button will open the modulation router, which allows you to create modulation assignments. Only modules added as group inserts will have this button. Signal processors in the output section. Signal processors can work on multiple instruments in your multi by using the effect slots in the output section. Inserts are used on the output channel strips and aux channels allow you to use send effects. Click on the output button to show the output section. To the left will be one or more output channel strips. Below the channel name at the top are four insert slots. If they are not displayed, click the show inserts button. The output insert chain works exactly the same as the bus insert effects or instrument insert effects chains, but laid out vertically and processed in order from top to bottom. Click the small arrow icon next to a slot to open a drop down menu with all available signal processors. Once you select an insert module from the list, you can show and hide its parameters for editing by double clicking on its name or clicking the Edit Effect button. Opening the drop down menu and selecting Empty will remove the module. Aux channels allow you to use send effects across multiple instruments. Aux channel strips are on the right side of the out output section mixer. Aux channels are output strips that get their signals from various places in the signal flow. This means effects can be added the same way as with normal output channel strips. Aux channels can be fed from two places, the first being the rack header in the multi-instrument mode. Click the aux button to display a row of level controls. You can send the instrument's output signal to one or more aux channels at adjustable levels. The second place is by rerouting the output signal of any effects module that you add to a send effects slot to one of the aux channels. Also, you can use a gainer module within a send effect slot to build a bridge to the aux channels and feed them with group specific signals. Signal processing modules are divided into two categories, 
Effects and Filters. The best way to browse a collection of available modules is to use the Modules tab of the browser, which we explained in an earlier module. In addition to a categorized list of all available modules, it also displays a detailed explanation of what each module does and how it can be used. Effects are any signal processing modules that create special, nonlinear effects, and filters are modules that only affect the frequency response of signals. The library of filters is further broken down into four categories, which we'll talk about next time. The amplifier provides some basic controls such as volume and pan, but as you can see, can be pretty powerful once, when you start talking about modulation, channel routing, and outputs. And the complex signal flow of contact allows you to route your signal almost anywhere and process them with a multitude of effects and filters. And although we stuck to the basics, Contact has an extensive collection of signal processors. In the next tutorial, we'll go over each of the effects and filters in depth. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more tutorials on contact. ADSR Contact Tutorials, Supercharger Contact Skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.